In the earliest months of the Empire, Vader was made aware of the Imperial plans to design a new battle station of immense design. However, with the project hidden behind the Tarkin Initiative, which not even Vader had access to, the Sith Lord didn't know the full nature and capabilities of the superweapon. Having made an unsanctioned visit to Scarif Citadel Tower, entering its vault to learn more about Project Stardust, Palpatine was ultimately made aware of his apprentice's secretive journey to Scarif and his desire to learn more about the Death Star. Recognizing it was time to bring Vader into the fold, he gave Vader the mission of going to Geonosis and uncovering why there were numerous acts of sabotage to the project there, delaying the timeline of the battle station. While Vader would conduct this mission for his master, his investigation would lead to a far greater discovery for Vader, the true power of the Death Star. In this video expose, I will explain the mission that resulted in Vader finding out that the Death Star was not merely a sophisticated battle station, but a true planet killer. As Vader traveled to Geonosis as per Palpatine's orders, he was greeted by then Commander Orson Krennic. But while Vader was already uninterested in Krennic's pleasantries, their greeting was interrupted by an attempt on their life, an attempt that was thwarted through Vader's use of the Force to protect them from the falling rocks. Within Krennic's office, the commander was certain that the sabotage upon Geonosis was being led by none other than Governor Tarkin. While he had no direct evidence of this, and thus Vader became instantly uninterested in the theory, Krennic described three recent acts of sabotage that were having great effects in delaying production. After Vader vowed to find the truth that lay behind these acts, he then journeyed to the planet's Petronaki Arena, a location he knew all too well. Here, he met with the Imperial Loyalty Officer named Sid Udra, who Vader commissioned to put together profiles for both Tarkin and Krennic. Immediately, Udra shot down the possibility that either of the two Imperial Officers were behind the sabotage. While Krennic and Tarkin hated each other, they were both loyal to the Empire and the power that it brought them. Even more, sabotaging the project would give each of them the chance to redirect blame at the other, hurting their own chances of gaining control of Project Stardust. It was more likely that both men would push for the completion of the project as quickly as possible, and then try to own that victory. But Vader then wondered, if neither Krennic nor Tarkin was behind the sabotage upon Geonosis, who was? Udra immediately had another name for Vader, Galen Erso. After informing the Sith Lord about Galen's family life and background, as well as his position between the tug of war going on with Krennic and Tarkin, Udra informed Vader that he should visit Galen's office on Coruscant to see what he could find there. While he wasn't believed to be the saboteur himself, and had never even been to Geonosis, Udra believed that the shipments Galen received from the planet could contain important clues. Vader was able to find small pieces of information relevant to the battle station, such as the connection between the project's name and his daughter Jin's nickname. But there was one finding that completely changed his understanding of the battle station. Looking over to the shipments that Galen received from Geonosis, Vader recognized the gems there immediately as kyber crystals, and before long, remarked, so that's it, indicating he just made a startling discovery. Vader would also go on to find a Geonosian egg within the shipments, indicating that the Geonosians were reaching out to Galen for help and assistance, as Commander Krennic recognized as well. Thus, Vader was able to connect the events and conclude that the Geonosians themselves were the saboteurs, whom he dealt with in a very Vader-like fashion. But the Sith Lord wasn't yet finished with his findings regarding the kyber crystals. Having traveled to Tarkin's personal spacecraft, the Carrion Spike, Vader confirmed that he uncovered the scheme of the saboteurs upon Geonosis and dealt with them accordingly. But more importantly, Vader confronted Tarkin with the knowledge about the true power of the Death Star. While he acknowledged that the full scope was still hidden, it was clear that the battle station was no simple gun platform. Rather, it was a planet killer. Impressed with Vader's foresight, Tarkin asked him how he uncovered this truth, with Vader pointing to his finding of the kyber crystals from Galen's office. As Vader more than understood, the kyber crystals were not merely an energy source, but could also be made to have their energies directed outwardly and made aggressive. Therefore, the battle station would attempt to unleash power of an unimaginable magnitude. 
with Vader voicing his distrust of the technological terror being constructed, and Tarkin suggesting that Vader was simply jealous that he might not be the Emperor's most terrifying enforcer within the galaxy one day, Vader then made the bold and prescient prediction that the Death Star would become Tarkin's tomb. So there we have it, how Vader uncovered the truth that the Death Star would become powerful enough to destroy an entire planet. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For the good old days...